Welcome to SCFC Fan TV with myself DJ Earth. We're going to be previewing the match at the Stadium Light on Saturday against um, Charlton Athletic. Um, just like Portsmouth, that name Charlton, it just fills you with dread, doesn't it? It doesn't matter how bad the team is, what's going on. It's just the name Charlton. We just have such a bad record with them. It's it's unreal. Um, Chuffed a bit to where the lads performed against crew. It was just so professional, I cannot fault them. Um, but I think once again, just like Portsmouth, no matter what the pitch conditions like, even if it's dry, it's gonna be mental games out there. It's, you know, it's, we're gonna to have to be mentally strong as well as physical. And that's what was lacking um, against Portsmouth, was we just didn't have the mental strength. We didn't mentally want it. Um, so we need to be mentally prepared for Charlton because I mean, like I say, they've just sacked their manager whether they've got a manager in or not, you always get that lift if, if there's a boss that you're not keen on, you know, and you can't work the next day and he's not there or whatever, then you'll get a lift, don't you, in your performance. So someone's got to be professional. They've got to um, just get the job done. But I'm I'm going to go for a 1-1 a one -one draw. I would love them to beat them. Me, 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 uh, me heart says we'll one, one of them 3 nil, but my head says it's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. I think... You know, I know Charlton's been poor, but it's just Charlton, and um, dare I say, well, I'd be happy with a point. Well, no, not really, because you know they're the sort of bottom of the league, aren't they? Just about. But I don't know. I just don't think Charlton will be there come the end of the season. I still think Charlton will be there for the playoff spots by the end of the season. They're a, they are a big club. You know, I know they've been struggling and stuff, but I remember. When we were years ago, before we got Roy Keane, um, Niall Quinn was in charge, and we were we were bottom of the league, and I think we lost against Coventry, and then we won we won the championship, we won the champions, we were champions. So, you know, it's it's still very early days to sort of properly tell who's going to be there at the end of the season and when. Um, so I think we just need to be as professional as possible but we need to be mentally prepared as well as physically for this one we should be like that for every game but Charlton will be will be up for it against us I would like to see us turn, turn them over um, you know the, the way we pass the ball against crew and you know we seem to you know not let them have five minutes on the ball it was it was great and we do, we do need to show authority straight away um, I thought Brigidi wasn't bad um, once again doing his trademark stuff down the wings and getting in decent crosses. Nice to see, see Stewart get a couple of goals. Um, that'll do his confidence again, the world of good. He's, he always, he's like buses, isn't it? His goals come in twos. You know, they come in twos, his goals. Um, but he took, he took them well. And um, that's what we need. We need some quality stuff into the box for him. Um, we need the supply for him, for him to, uh, to put them away. A bit fortunate as well with the own goal against crew but it don't matter that's what we need to do we need to have the ball in the opposition box to create problems because i didn't say own goals are a fluke because at the end of the day the ball's in the back of the net because we're pressing them and we've put the ball in there and we've caused them problems so it doesn't matter how it goes in the jacu he's really beginning to impress me more and more as the matches go on um people say he's like and he's still not fully fit but i'm not too sure about that but you know, the way, the way he finishes, I mean, that match against Cheltenham when he came on and he, um, the way he finished it, he just bursts the net, doesn't he? Probably rifles his shots with anger and he did the same against Crew. He you know, ran, ran half a length of the pitch and just underbolted it. The way he finishes, I'm really getting to like that bloke, like, um, not in a sexual sort of way of mine, but, you know, just um, purely professional under tree here. I would say give him a start, but people saying he's injured, no, he's not fully fit, well, you can't really put a player on for 90 minutes, but we'll just have to see what, what game time he gets on. Um, Hoffman again, he's uh, starting to impress me even more with his, um, his performances, he's getting more confident and he's pulling off some superb saves. He most certainly definitely has um, saved us from either defeat or draws, especially likes against Gillingham and stuff. And even if he's getting clean sheets as well, because it's does our goal difference the world of good. Because you know, them four goals scored against Crew is bringing back the damage from Portsmouth. 
just hope it's not a repeat performance against Charlton. Because, I mean, how many teams have we got bogey teams? We always say, oh, this is our bogey team. Burton's our bogey team. Portsmouth's our bogey team. You know what I mean? But it's, it's just, I think it's just the history. As well as well with Charlton, we've still got our memories, haven't we? From the um, the Wembley playoff final twice. You know, the heartache of the uh, the penalty shootout. And, of course, just a couple of years ago when they beat us at the playoffs. Um, again, at Wembley, it's... You know, they're just a thorn in our side, and I would like to pull this thorn out and um, put them to the sword, really. But, like I say, I'm going to be sensible, because we're not going to win every game, we've got to be realistic here. I would love us to, don't get me wrong, but um, I'm going to go for Sunderland 1, Charlton 1, and I'm going to go for Stewart to score for Sunderland again. Um, I think they'll score first and I think we will get the equaliser. Don't know when the goals will come. Um, I reckon the crowd as well will be about 34,000. I've got a funny feeling Charlton will bring a few up. Um, but with Sunderland's recent performances, I think you know it'll attract a few more thousand to the ground. Um, forecast, I think it's going to be overcast. It's not going to be too cold, so... About 11 or 12 degrees. They will bring your weather forecast into it all the time. But I don't think you need to bring your brollies anyway. So if you're going to the match, enjoy yourself. Be safe. Have fun. And I would like you to bring three points back to the houses. Or back to the sug and lettuce if you go for a pint after the game. Or even Mars Pies at Pallion Road or whatever it is if it's still open. But yeah, that's my prediction. I'm going to go for Sunderland 1, Charlton 1. Enjoy yourselves and be safe.